Hi. In the continuing saga on our drone generator, last time I had promised that we're going to make some upgrades and changes to the system, and today we're going to be operating it and giving you some more information about how it works. First of all, I had promised that I was going to replace the uh, stock mufflers with some upgraded glass pack mufflers to reduce uh, sound levels. They've been installed now. In addition, I've replaced the uh, motor generators with smaller, lighter, more efficient, and lower KV units, so we should be get better current output from the generator during operation. You'll also see that we've got substantially more resistive loading here so that we should be able to run it at higher power levels than we did the, the last time. In addition to that, you'll also see that there's a scale on the other side of the table. What we're going to do before we begin the run is we're going to weigh the fuel and then after a prolonged uh, run period what we're going to do is stop the generator and weigh the fuel again so we can get some idea of what the uh, fuel consumption is over a given period of time. For those of you who haven't seen the video before, the first video, this gauge over here, this meter, is going to be reading off the voltage output and the current output from the generator while it's operating, so you'll get an idea of you know, what kind of power levels we're running at. Obviously, we have a clock on the other side of the uh, table, so you can get an idea of what kind of time period we're talking about. And in addition to that, I have my little trusty decibel meter on my phone and I'm going to be moving around giving you an idea of what the sound levels are like. Remember that the generator here is not vibration isolated, it's just on this board and we don't have any sound uh, enclosure to reduce the sound levels, but again it's uh, part of the progress toward the, the end result. The um, final part of the video will include some images like we do in some of our videos where we're going to break down each of the components of the, uh, of the generator and weigh them so you can get an idea of what the final weight is going to be like because we can't weigh this entire apparatus now on a big board and these temporary fans that's just not valid. So let's get started. We'll begin by weighing the fuel. Now over here I have my trusty scale and I'm going to weigh the entire fuel in its tank as I'll weigh it the same way when we're done should be zeroed out right now and I'm getting about 568 568 I like these uh, adjustable or replaceable tie wraps. They're a little bulkier than the standard ones that I've been using for a long time but they're very nice because you don't have to cut them each time you want to remove something but they hold stuff snug in between those periods so it's kind of a nice thing to have around. Okay so we'll see how this thing starts. It's pretty cold outside so I may have to adjust the choke a few times before we get this thing going.
torque has been adjusted, and even though we're not running a battery hybrid system that tends to stabilize the voltage, it still tends to be pretty stable. As you can see, these things are still very hot. I've been running them a little bit past their uh, design limits, and so I try not to get them to burn out. So what we'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and weigh the fuel so we can get a final fuel consumption number. Turn off this uh, annoying fan. It's only necessary while the engine is running. And you can see everything looks pretty much intact. This is still a little too hot to touch. These aren't too bad. I mean, they're not that warm that you can put your fingers on them. And if you look at the far end here, it looks pretty clean too. So I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem putting the entire engine behind uh, sound deadening baffles inside the final enclosure. So we'll remove these nifty little tie wraps. We'll slip the fuel tank out. We'll go ahead and zero this fella here and we'll get a weight. So 423. So you can do the calculations and based on the time and the calculations that's a little fun back of the end uh, envelope type of math. But uh, it turns out that the fuel consumption numbers, as I've uh, determined in the last couple of uh, tests of the engine, are a little disappointing. I was uh, originally hoping to get up close to the 20 to 1 potential of the fuel uh, versus the batteries. And I'm actually seeing numbers here that are closer to about 10 to 1. But obviously, that's the compromise in going to the two-stroke engines. Uh, still vastly better than batteries. And uh, the lightweight of the generator should still make this uh, a much better op option than uh, just loading yourself up with an enormous number of uh, lithium polymer batteries. Further upgrades though, we're going to get onto the enclosure in the next couple of videos and uh, we also may make some small changes just in the 
way that we're going to be attaching some of these other components rather than on a board and uh, you get a better idea of just how tight we can pack this in and what other challenges we're going to be facing in trying to get this thing to actually float on the bottom of a drone. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Again, uh, the weather here is not really very favorable for this kind of outside testing, but what are you going to do? Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon.